I am sorry again about yesterday. It wasn't intentional. It's fine. All done now. Please, just no more surprises. I don't think my heart can handle it. Don't worry. I will not do anything to stress you out like that again. Daddy? Hi, little one. Where's your mummy? She went away. Away where? I don't know. She said this. This is where my daddy lives. I think there's been some kind of mistake. Neither of us have children. Yeah, I know. I think she's your daughter, Mr. Daz. What? Why would you think she's my daughter? Never mind. What's your name? Hi, I'm Zoe. Nice to meet you, Zoe. Do you know where your mummy went? Well, she said she needs some time off. I was going to go with my daddy. She said my daddy, my daddy wants to spend some time with me. She just said she's a nice man. Yeah, all right, calm down now, Zoe. Blimey, you can talk a lot. Remind you of someone, Nick? Yeah, it does. David. What? No, she's clearly your child. Why would you think that? Well, let's see. Her mum said that her dad loves kids, so that's not me because kids get on my nerves. Then when she opened her mouth and started talking, I got the same irritating feeling I get when you open your mouth and start talking. The signs are all there. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. I guess we'll just have to try and find out more about her mum. Zoe, what is your mum's name? Um, mummy or mum. You don't know her real name? What? Mummy's not her real name. No, don't get upset. It is for you because she's your mummy, but it's not for us. I'm just going to go and speak to Mr. Daz in the other room. Make yourself at home and watch some TV. Okay. Mr. Daz, what are we going to do? About what? Uh, about the toddler sitting on our sofa watching TV. Oh, I don't know. I'm off out soon, so I'll let you figure it out. Why me? She could still be your daughter. Impossible. Why's that? Uh, I'm a virgin. Really? So all the stories you've told me about all the women you've dated are all rubbish? Yeah, I've never had a girlfriend before. Okay, well let's just call some of the women that you've claimed to have slept with and we'll see if that's true. Alright, fine, I'm not a virgin, but she can't be mine. I am very careful when it comes to protection. How careful? Well, I wear a condom. You do know that condoms only protect you like 97% of the time. Yeah, good one, Nick. They're not going to sell defected condoms. Stop trying to get out of this. I'm not. Maybe if we find out more about Zoe and her mum, we can try and figure this out. Yeah, fine. Hi, Zoe. What are you watching? The Jungle Book. Oh, I love this film. Mr. Daz, we're supposed to be interrogating her. Oh, shut up, Nick. It's not Criminal Minds. Yeah, shut up, Nick. <laughs> nice one, little girl. My name is Zoe. Yeah, I know. So, Zoe, how old are you? I am five. Oh, OK. And where do you live? In my mummy's house. I know, but where is that? I don't know. OK, and what does your mummy look like? She looks like a pretty lady. I bet. What colour hair does she have? She has red hair. Before that, brown hair. And before that, yellow hair. And before that... Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. Mr. Daz, this is hopeless. Yeah, I know. Shut up there. I'm trying to watch the movie. You're funny. Thank you. I do try. I can't believe this. There's a little girl in our living room claiming that either me or Mr. Daz is the father. Mr. Daz refuses to believe that she could be his, and I know for a fact that she's not mine. I've only ever had one meaningful relationship, and that ended about three years ago, so the dates don't add up because I would have been with Julia at the time. This would be so much easier if we knew who her mother was. I'm bored. Yeah, Nick, we're bored. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Think of something that we can do. How am I supposed to know? I'm not a kid. Zoe, what did you used to do with your mummy? She took me to the park. Oh, that sounds like fun. Nick, take us to the park. I am not taking a little girl who I don't know and a grown man to the park. It just ain't happening. Fine, we'll go ourselves. Bye. Bye, thank you, man. Why are we take my car to the park? Well, I don't know where any parks are, so I'll just get the sat-nav to take me to the nearest one. Are you my daddy? I don't know, little one. If I am, then today is the first time hearing about it. So you didn't know who I was? Not a clue. My mummy said 
she told you about me? I think that is a conversation I would have remembered. If I knew I had a child out there, I would want to be in their lives. Okay. Yay, the park! Yay! If she is my daughter, then I would want to be in her life. Clearly her mum has been lying to her because me or Nick never knew she existed. It has been fun hanging out with her today though. Yeah, I could see myself as her father. Her mum could drop her off so we can have fun and play about and then when I'm tired I can just send her back to her mum. That would be nice. Hi Mr Des, how was the park? Ah, oh, it was tiring. She got me to push her on the swing, the roundabout, the swing again. Then she wanted me to go down the slide with her and on the monkey bars. It's bloody hard work being a dad. Yeah, well we're no closer to figuring out who the dad is. Would it be the worst thing if you had a daughter? Yes, this is not part of my life plan. Your life plan? Yes, when I have kids I want to be happily married and settled down. I don't want to have a kid that comes to see me now and then. I want to be part of the kid's life. Ah, oh, don't you go on. Listen, we just need to wait until our mother comes back and then we can find out who the father is. That's if she comes back. What do you mean? Well, she might have done a runner. Being a parent might have been too much for her, so she dumped Zoe on us and done a runner. That's true. I guess we need to find somewhere for her to sleep. I guess so. Where is she, by the way? Who? Zoe, the little girl you just took to the park. Uh-oh. Left her in the car, didn't you? Nope. Left her in the park. Are you sure this is okay? Yes, thank you. I'm sorry I left you in the park. It's okay. I have fun. I know, but anything could have happened. I'm tired. Go to sleep, little one. Can you lay for me? I'm scared. Of course. Where is she? Where's she hiding? What's going on? We're playing hide and seek. She's really good at it. Zoe, where are you? She's under the table. Mr. Daz. Well, it ain't my fault you're blind. She doesn't like it when you find her straight away. Well, maybe she needs to find a better hiding place. Uh, morning. I've done your shopping for you, Mr. Daz. Thank you, David. Once you put it all away, you can close the door. We wasn't born in a barn. Okay. Oh, hi, little one. Who are you? Hi, I'm Zoe. That's a pretty name. What are you doing here? One of these are my daddy. Oh, okay. Nick. Mummy! So, turns out Nick is the father. He's still a bit shaken up, so I thought I'd give him some space. Who would have thought it, eh? There's a little Nick running around out there. I just can't get my head around it. I was having a lot of fun with her, though. She is so witty and cocky. She kind of reminded me of myself a little bit. When we was at the park yesterday, a teenage boy fell off his skateboard. Zoe quickly ran up to him and asked if he was okay, and when he said he needed help, her response was, Do I look like a doctor? And she walked away. Such a little care. Good thing she's not my responsibility. Hi Nick, how are you feeling? I still can't get my head around it all. How can I be a dad to a five-year-old and I've only just found out now? No idea. How do you know her mum? I don't really. She's an old friend of Julia's. We all went out drinking one night and I slept with her. I drank so much that night I don't even remember it. Well, now you'll never forget about it because you have a daughter from the experience. I know, I'm still in shock. Yeah, well, I'm not, so I'm going out to the pub. Yeah, see ya. I still can't get my head around all of this. I'm a dad. I spoke with Zoe's mum before she left and she told me she didn't want me to be part of Zoe's life just yet. She doesn't want to confuse her with all of it, which is understandable. I just don't know how I'm going to cope knowing I've got a child out there who's not going to be able to see me.